Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. We're here in the Revelation again testing out our mighty dreadnought against crab sites on the test server. This is uh, on the test server, that is. I've not managed to acquire one of these in tranquility yet due to logistic reasons. But in the meantime, I wanted to try attempting different fits against these crab beacons. As you can see here, I've deployed on these crab beacons and it takes a bit of time until it can get up and running three or four minutes. So that's why I'm just chilling here, right next to it. And we've got some rats here who are coming to interfere. So we're going to try taking them out in the meantime. This revelation you can see here. So I've got a white skin. Different than the previous one, black skin. We were using the cold iron skin before. Now with a slightly new and improved fit, we're going to go with a different skin. Hopefully it'll go okay. The grappler will hopefully make a big difference. Because the issue we had before was that stuff was able to get too close to us. And we weren't able to apply when stuff was really close, so I think this grapple will make a big difference. Destroyed. See if we can kill this cruiser. Hopefully we'll be able to... Do oh, it's missing the cruiser. Okay, it does get grazing shots, that's good. Okay. Nice to see. Yeah, okay, that's good. It just takes a bit of time for the grappler to kick in. That's perfect. Can we destroy this guy here? Yeah, it seems like it's going decent, actually. The grappler really is nice. Perfect. I don't know why the initial spool-up time is so long on this. We're just sit here for a good four minutes. The only explanation I can think of is just they want to increase the amount of time we've got capital ships in space. Increase the likelihood of potential hunters getting them. Otherwise it just feels a bit unnecessary. Four minutes just sitting here doing nothing. Okay, ten seconds left until it's going to lure in some rogue drones. I'm unsure how it lures them in. I think they warp in, but sometimes it seems like they're just spontaneously emerging. So it could be that they're also cloaked. And this massive arena. I wonder how big this arena is because it's really stretching itself out past this asteroid belt we've got here. Must be hundreds of kilometers wide. Okay, so now we've got the warp disruption field. No cloaking till we've destroyed all the rogue drones. The benefit of using these pulse lasers over, say, the Phoenix with the the torpedo launches is that there's a bit of uh, like instantaneous damage here, while with the Phoenix torpedoes there's a bit of a delay. Like, as soon as we click here, the enemies will take damage. So in a way, it could be a bit quicker like that. But over time, the Phoenix has quite a lot of DPS. One thing also to note is that before I've been mentioning that the Phoenix does so much damage, well, that's actually because it's using rapid uh, torpedo launches and they have a long reload time. So that's sort of the reason why they have uh, just more damage. But then when you factor in reload time, it's going to be quite a bit less. Okay, let's see if we can take out this this guy. This battle cruiser was, was causing us so much issues before. Seems like we're able to get through him. That's really great. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Now that's what I'm talking about. What is the range on this? 21, so they're in perfect range as well. I'm fortunate that the range is so short, actually. I thought a dreadnought weapon would be longer than 21 kilometers, but that's just the way it is. And it's also probably because we've got really bad skills. Do we have any range bonuses here? No, no range bonuses. We have to destroy these as quick as possible so that we can get some uh, delay time so that this time we can keep ticking down. See if we can take out this cruiser smoothly because they're going to be a bit more difficult compared to the other ships. Oh, he seems to be wanting to keep his good range. Let's see if we can go with the ultraviolet. Oh, there we go. Don't run away now, you little scrub. It's 60 kilometers, that's pretty far for an NPC to keep range. Looks like a rogue drone battle cruiser. Ooh. A pretty intimidating laser burst he makes there. I think if we put a long range script, we will be able to hit him. It doesn't seem like we're really able to hit him at this range. Before the issue was we were not able to track at short range, now the issue is we're not able to hit a long range see if we get 68 fall off so we should be able to hit something uh, this might be a bit of an issue now okay we're able to get through his shield slowly but steadily okay there we go he had a big shield then as soon as he went through the shields there was no problem that's good it's just a bit slower that's the main issue strange how these icons they look like they're frigate icons but they're actually battle cruisers Ten times bigger than a frigate. Okay, now this time is ticking down. 
even though it says 10 minutes here you usually has a tendency to last longer than 10 minutes because you have to spend the time fighting or when you're fighting then this time is not going to be ticking now i wonder if this salvage actually has anything significant probably should actually check this out see what it can these guys contain i've not got an mtu on me though so that's a bit of an issue siege module keeps us in place okay let's lock these guys up here these ones want to be close range. that's perfect for us Oof, 5k volley now we're taking actually some significant damage so now we might be able to might be a good idea to use our armor repair this guy's too far away for multi-frequency so we'll use some multi multi-spectrum instead and these guys seem to be too far away for even ultraviolet this guy can use a good grapple there we go I think it's just a case of destroying these guys as quick as possible because they're sort of like timer. They just keep accumulating more and more NPCs. So the faster you destroy each wave, the more like dead time or quiet time you have for this beacon to keep ticking down. Got some really big bounties on these guys. Five million is a ship. Quite appropriate for capital ships who are running around with multi billion esque ships. There's a lot of small drones here as well, but I don't think we have to worry too much about them. I think that they all just get destroyed when we destroy the motherships. The same way the velas get destroyed when we destroy them. We can use a grapple at this range, but I don't think it's doing anything significant. They seem to be the same speed, or maybe one meter a second less. Basically the same. Oh, they've got some big newts, 500 gigajoules. Uh, drained, that's really big. Maybe use the grapple on this guy instead. I think his speed will go down a little bit more. Yeah, you see that. 10 meters a second instead of 1. A little bit of a difference. Yeah, and you can see here the rogue drones. The small, tiny drones explode over there when the mothership gets destroyed. Ring, why can't hear any of these weapon sounds? Strange. Oh, we've got some more that just warped in straight away. But the previous wave was destroyed. I wonder if they warp in on a timer or they just warp in after a certain amount of NPCs have been destroyed. We don't need to waste our armor or our cap on the armor up there. There we go. Not cap stable here, so I don't want to waste our fast. It's a very slow recharge we've got going on. Wow, look at this. A frigate that has got a 1.9 million isk bounty. That is unheard of. But I guess it's just because we're in these capital sites, that's the case. And I can imagine he's going to perform a lot better than the classical frigate as well. He's going super fast, 2.7k a second. I wonder if we'll be able to apply to him. I don't think we'll actually be able to apply to him. So tiny. We should be using the tracking speed script as well. Help a bit here. He's suddenly staying still. This guy, I'm not sure why he's staying. Oh yeah, we got a big hit there. He decides to stay still all of a sudden. Not good for us, but bad for him. It's working, but very, very slowly. Is our grab, but this making him go slow or something. Seems to be using his MWD now, and then suddenly stops. Not sure why. And look, we just keep getting more and more because this is taking so long now. Oh, this is not a good sign. Oh, it's because we... Could it be that it's not going so well because we're not using a siege module? Do we not have strontium clathrates? We ran out of strontium clathrates straight away. Well, that was really fast. I filled my whole inventory with strontium clathrates. Oh, I think you should be able to have it in the fleet maintenance bay or something like that. Ah, I see, I see. We were actually able to do damage to him even though we were only in uh, non-siege mode, I think. This does 194 DPS without, that's nothing. Well, let's dock back up. It doesn't seem like we can do much more here. It doesn't seem like the revelation is too smooth at doing uh, these sites. It's good. In that we do pretty decent damage to these battle ships but it doesn't feel too nice to small stuff and they just keep accumulating here like this frigate it was not a good idea even the grappler felt very hard now it's basically impossible because we've not got the siege mode uh, active but i think even then with it on it's going to take a very long time and then they just kept on spawning they got another one here hmm what could we do here? This guy has got us scrambled as well, so there's not really much more we can do. I think we're going to have to eject from here. Goodbye, Revelation. Stock up. 
They're really going crazy on that revelation. <laughs> hmm, it doesn't seem like the revelation is too good at these. I wonder if it can sort of warp out and then warp at a distance and use big capital beams. That could maybe be an idea. I'm not sure how the spawning mechanic works on these guys. And if small stuff does get in close and you've got capital weapons, then you're going to be screwed. Let's see now if we can go in the Phoenix. I think the Phoenix is going to be much better this. Massive shield. Only 300 HP per second shield recharge. That's very little actually. I think active would actually be a better idea. Because then we have one of these. And we have some capital cap batteries. I think it'll be alright like this. Maybe we could put a cap boost. I think they're pretty good. Ooh, 102 million. It's a bounty tick. Oh, that's a really good bounty tick. And you can also get very good dr drone mutaplasmids. As well, so that's actually a really good. 100 million isk after taxes as well. I wonder how capital and slurry shield booster would be. Would that be a good idea? We could have one of these. Not sure how well it would perform, but hmm. Yeah, our revelation died. <laughs> and the constant DPS with the scourge rage is then exactly 3k. Could be a lot more if you were to have better skills. Well, not a whole lot more, I think. I think there's a bit more with the Kaldari Dreadnought bonuses. Otherwise, there's always an option to go with the capital torpedoes. But they're going to be so much worse in terms of application, I don't think it's worth it. Let's do this as Phoenix PvE Crab. I can save this, I have this as an option later. I'm losing a bit of hope in the revelation. I think it's difficult to be as like multi-purpose, being able to dish out a lot of damage, but at the same time being able to sort of grapple them and apply well to the small stuff. I feel like if you use something like a phoenix, for example, especially with the, the rapid uh, torpedo launches, then you'll have no problem applying to the small stuff. And then overall, you're going to be doing more damage to the big stuff as well, because you're going to be doing more straight up more damage. We have another damage module. And that fourth damage module hardly did anything. It seems like our revelation and rogue drone beacon has been destroyed. It seems like the rogue drones destroy it after a while when there's no one there to resist. But not so happy with the revelation. If you guys have any improvements to the fit, let me know in the comments down below. But I feel like uh, overall a phoenix will do a lot better in these sites. I actually want to test a phoenix later. Then maybe we'll see if we can tweak the revelation fit if there are any improvements for the future. But I want to give the phoenix a go next. So that's stuff for now. Crab sites in the Revelation. Not too successful, not too successful, but better than last time. The grappler did help quite a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you liked something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.